It's the biggest culinary competition in Canadian history. Honoring this country's greatest home cooks. You have no idea how it feels to actually realize your dream. I won MasterChef Canada. It happened to me. This season, 40 home cooks were invited to Toronto. Yeah! But only the best will move forward. Your time starts now! They'll be tested like never before. The firefighters are ready to eat, and they are hungry! Creating food that will exceed all expectations. Absolutely delicious. I put it on one of my menus. They'll face fears. What the heck? And overcome obstacles. Oh my God. In a quest for the ultimate prize, $100,000 and a life-changing title. Last week, six home cooks earned white aprons, immediately advancing to the top 14. You guys better watch out. Woo! And tonight, 18 home cooks will get a second chance to earn a white apron in two terrifying tests. Medic, it burns. That will take them to the top 14. I'm gonna get that apron. Or send them home. If you don't get this right, you don't belong in this kitchen. This is my last chance to get a white apron. This is do or die for me. Six home cooks have already earned white aprons and a place in the MasterChef Canada Top 14. Oh my gosh! My audition dish was good enough to earn me a white apron. Look at our view! Top 14! I'm not gonna lie, it feels pretty amazing. Being in the Top 14 is fantastic. I'm definitely pinching myself. Now, there are only eight spots left and 18 home cooks who are competing for them. I'm here right now to do a job, and that job is to get a white apron. This is my second chance right now, and I'm gonna make it count. Welcome to the MasterChef Canada Kitchen. And the six of you up there, your dishes during the audition, have proved to us that you deserve to be wearing those white aprons. Right. The 18 of you down here, your audition dishes were good enough to earn you a second chance. And this upcoming challenge is that second chance. I got two yeses in the audition. I need to prove that I deserve a white apron. To be a true master chef, you need to be able to work fast and with precision. But above all, you must be organized. Your challenge today is this. A perfect mise en place. Mise en who? <laughs> mise en place is a French culinary term that simply means to have all your ingredients prepped and ready before you even start to think about cooking. Please head to your stations. Before I showed up here, I practiced for something like this every single day, and I'm gonna get this done. In front of you, you have all you need to complete this challenge, including one whole chicken we want broken down into eight parts. Two dozen shrimp, we want you to clean them and devein them. You also have six cobs of corn. We want them shucked perfectly with every kernel removed. And those three sweet peppers, we want them cut into julienne, which means perfectly thin, wispy slices. Two dozen farm fresh eggs. We want you to separate the yolks from the whites. And the green apple, peeled, cored with precision. And you only have 15 minutes. God help me. I don't even think I can husk six corn in 15 minutes, let alone 24 eggs. This competition is not just about speed, it's about precision and control. If your prep is sloppy, you will be going home. I am shaking inside. I've never broken down a chicken in my life. If you don't get this mise en place right, you don't belong in this kitchen. Are you ready? Yes! yes. yes. Your 15 minutes starts now! Here we go. Every great restaurant in the world starts off with mise en place, which is preparation. Timing is a huge factor. It's a daunting task in itself, but having to do it within 15 minutes is a huge task to ask for. So this is almost like boot camp kitchen training, right? You've got to learn how to handle a knife, you've got to do it with speed, and you have to do it with precision. It's the best test to see their skill levels and their efficiency. Get her done. It 
is 100% chaos down there. Pressure's getting to everybody. This is where the rubber hits the road. My strategy is to do the things that I think will be the quickest first. Being a lawyer, I'm used to working under pressure. And I think that's going to really set me apart from the other home cooks. Fully zoned into my station, I can't afford to look at anyone else and see what they're doing. Everybody is freaking out about this challenge. Calm down, Jacqueline. My strategy is to start with what I can do the fastest and work my way down. I don't want to be an accountant for the rest of my life. My ultimate food dream would be to own my own farm, where I can raise my own heritage variety vegetables and pigs. I need to prove to the judges that I belong here and that I want to be here, and I do. Well, the key with the chicken is that you cut through the joints, yeah. not through the bones. You splinter that bone, it'll be awful. Look at Sean Hickey. My knife skills are pretty awesome. Breaking down a chicken, Easy peasy. Yes, baby. That's what I'm talking about. He is the guy to watch right now. My food dream is to own my own taco food truck. Being an automotive worker is not what I'm meant to do. I'm meant to cook food for people and make them happy and make them smile. Ten minutes. You have ten minutes left. I'm a little bit worried about my knife skills right now. It's sort of what I am depending on to take me through this competition. I cook like this every day at home. I always have my kids with me, and I'm always trying to get things done on time, and I think I'm doing a really good job. I'm a teacher. My food dream is to teach working moms and dads who are busy ways to make food interesting for their children. I want perfection on those apples. Yes, chef. Julian peppers. I want every single piece to be the same and thinly sliced. I'm worried about finishing these peppers. I just need to make sure they're uniform in shape. The thing that scares me the most is the shrimp. I've never done the shrimp. Take a look at Robin there. She seems to be taking her time and trying to find that vein. I don't think she has the urgency. I mean, I she's moving really, really slow. The shrimp are going better than I thought. It, it's definitely important for me to have my food look perfect. I'm a makeup artist. I'm good at making things look beautiful and precise. I'm not going to fall apart, and I'm going to get that even. You have five minutes left. Come on, guys. You can do it. Come on, Tomego. I'm a brand manager in the fashion industry. There's so many similarities of fashion and food. When you first don that fashion forward cape, it makes you feel satisfied. And food, it's the same. Two minutes, you have two minutes left. Come on. Medic, quick, 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 quick. I'm not seeing enough on the board. Some of you will be going home. I'm just making sure all my eggs are done. I'm a baker, so I should do well on that. You only have 30 seconds left. Sean Henke, look how, look how fast he's doing the eggs. I got this. Apron's coming my way. Let's push, guys. Let's go. This is amazing. Look at the speed and the drive. I am going to make this happen. I'm staying. I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, guys. Come on, Julia. Matthew, come on, buddy. Five, four. Three, two, one, heads up! 18 of the country's best home cooks are battling for a spot in MasterChef Canada's top 14. I see that apron up there and I know my name is on it. There's nothing that's going to stop me from getting it. They have just completed a grueling mise en place skills test and the results are mixed. Oh my god, I didn't finish. I've looked at every single person's board and I think I have a pretty good shot. That was a really tough challenge. We're now gonna take one final look to see how you all did. I'm thinking I did pretty good. My plan was to do the best separation of eggs I can do and the best apples. It's quality versus quantity. I choose quality. The judges are looking for perfection, but I'm hoping that this is good enough. Well, this was really interesting and very revealing. We saw some cooks that were very fast, but they weren't able to give us the quality we're looking for. I don't really know how I performed. Everyone did different elements. Some people perfected their eggs. I see some missing pieces from other people's stations. It can go either way. And I just want to know whether or not I did enough to earn that apron. If they can't do this, they won't stand a chance with what's coming next. During the challenge, we watched you very closely. And based on what we saw, we're going to call some home cooks up to the front. 
John Hickey. How do you think you did? I think I did pretty good. Thing is, we agree. Your Nissan Plus just earned you a spot in the top 14. The only zone class was hands down the best in the room. Congratulations. How about the Brad Raper? You got it. <sighs> Great job. Thank you. I just made top 14 Masters of Canada. Are you kidding me? Woo! Yeah! I'm here. I'm here. I'm not going anywhere. I'm here to stay. Get ready. Get ready. Now for the rest of you. If you hear your name, I want you to come up to the front. Julia, Matthew, and Jacqueline. My hands are definitely shaking because of how badly I want this. I need this apron. Domingo, Alan, and Kendra, please come to the front. This determines who stays and who goes, and I want to be the one to stay. I want this more than anybody else here. There's one final group of home cooks to call to the front. Robin, Ernie, and Vanessa. I feel totally anxious. This is my second chance right now. I don't want to go home. This challenge was designed to show us who has the essential skills to make it in this competition. And we've had to make some tough decisions. Robin, Ernie, and Vanessa. You all love cooking. But sadly, we do not see the skills that we are looking for. I feel disappointed leaving the competition this early. I'm still gonna keep cooking. This is definitely the best thing that's ever happened to me in my entire life. There are now two groups standing before us, but only one of the two groups will head up to the gallery and take their rightful spot to join the top 14 in this competition. The adrenaline is rushing. I see that apron on top of the table with my name on it. I'm gonna get that apron. I've fought so hard to be here, and I am not ready to go home right now. The three home cooks that displayed the most talent and tenacity are... Julia, Matthew, and Jacqueline. You three had great knife skills and attention to detail. Thank you. Domingo, Alan, and Kendra, you brought a great deal to this competition. But I'm sorry, it's the end of the road. Goodbye and good luck. Thank you. I'm gonna continue cooking. Nothing's gonna stop that. <laughs> I love cooking. Only gonna be upwards from here. No one can keep Domingo down, you know it. <laughs> Julia, Matthew, and Jacqueline, come up and get your apron! Yeah! <laughs> putting on the apron feels like putting on a princess crown. Getting my white apron is the best thing that has happened to me. Top 14, baby! It's definitely made me very proud. I've proven that I deserve to be here. <laughs> The rest of you, please come to the front. There's four aprons left and there's eight home cooks, but I don't know what's going on. My heart is pounding. I want to get on that balcony so bad. You eight, do you feel you deserve to go forward in this competition? Yes, yes chef. Well, the three of us are not quite sure. There are only four spots left in the gallery. And we want to make sure that the best home cooks in this competition get them. So, you're going to be cooking again. Freaking out, I have no idea what the heck is going on. This next challenge is your last chance to prove to us that you deserve a white apron. Please head back to your stations. Third chance. I've never seen this happen on any season of MasterChef Canada. This is my chance to stand out from the other seven home cooks. The ingredients that you will be cooking with are right in front of you. This challenge is all about using some or all of the ingredients that you had in your mise en place to create for us a white apron-worthy dish. 
I have some chicken, I have some shrimp, I have all these components. I want to blow the judges away. You'll have access to a specialty pantry stocked with everything you need to elevate the ingredients in front of you. We're only giving you 30 minutes. Are you ready? Yes, yes chef. chef. Your time starts now. That's what I'm talking about. They can move. Where's like the spices and vinegars and stuff? Rolling pin, come on, where are your rolling pins? There are four aprons left and one of them has my name on it. I'm not going home today. I'm all nerves here and it's uh, scary. You could take any number of these ingredients, chicken, corn, shrimp, peppers, apples. That's beautiful. Combine them and make an absolutely beautiful dish. Listen, these are very simple ingredients, but in the right hands, they can be turned into something really remarkable, hopefully in less than 30 minutes. Ooh. I'm making an apple tart. I make it at home all the time for my kids. Just never in a half an hour. I usually have a lot more time to do this at home. I want to do, hopefully, an egg yolk gnocchi with a pan-seared chicken thigh and a chuck with succotash and pan gravy. I'm an overachiever. I always shoot for the stars. So I'm going to make the most complex dish I can come up with right now. I'm going to use my mom's chicken recipe. I'm going to make a nice breaded chicken breast, and then I'll figure out what my vegetable is. But right now, I'm not sure. Um, think, think, what do I need? I'm gonna just use whatever I find in the pantry that'll build up my dish. Uh-oh. If they're gonna use chicken, they need to get that going on fairly quickly, because that is gonna be the longest thing to cook. Half an hour is not much time to finish the chicken thigh. I'm a family guy from New Brunswick. Just last week, I was at home with my wife and kids cooking in my kitchen, and now this apron is calling out to me. We belong together. And I'm doing a corn and pepper sauce using the shrimp heads. I'm making pan-seared uh, chicken, slaw, and a little bit of corn on the cob. This is the most important cook of my life. Farming isn't going well. I need to advance in this competition so I can have the chance to open my brew pub and have a way to provide for my family. Les, I can smell it from here, buddy. It smells good. Is Michelle baking something? She's lining a pan with what looks to be pastry yeah. in 30 minutes. You have to be a rock star to do that. My pastry has to be cooked to perfection. And if my apples aren't cooked, bye-bye. The hardest part is to create something creative enough to knock my socks off, but not so difficult that you fail. Veronica, you got three pain going here. You got so many things. I'm a little bit worried you can't finish. I'm 100% sure I'm going to finish on Prime Chef. I have the confidence and the technique to go all the way. Well, I hope you do. Thank you. Come on, Reno. Nobody cooks like I do in here. Very rustic, very traditional. Meat is my forte. How are you, Chef? I'm well. More importantly, how are you? I'm excellent. I have a roasted red pepper sauce. I have a chicken breast. And the chicken breast is in the oven? No, the chicken breast is in my pot resting. Don't want to dry it out in the oven, absolutely What did not. you do, did you just steam it? No, I grilled it. Oh, OK. Just resting it for a couple minutes, and then I'm going to take it out. You sure that's cooked? Absolutely sure it's cooked. Hmm. Time will tell. Chef Claudio thinks it's underdone. It's freaking me out, man. Get that chicken back on the grill. I know I'm not supposed to, but it's either raw or dry. My life is riding on that being cooked. 15 minutes! You got 15 minutes left! Ah! Come on, come on, come work with me. Rockin'. I've played hockey, lacrosse, football, all those sports growing up have made me super competitive. Travis, what are you making? I'm gonna make a shrimp taco and a chicken taco. Okay. Do you think a taco is gonna be a MasterChef quality enough dish to win you a white apron? Uh, the way I do them up, they will be. I make them every week when football's on. It's a staple in my house, and my friends love to come over when I do it, so. Look forward to seeing how it stands right. out. Thank Carry you. Carry on, Travis. It is risky because it is a street food, but I know my flavors are on point. I know what my strengths are, and now I need to make that happen. There's a lot of pressure and there's a lot at stake, so I just wanna get a good dish down. My dish is an Asian fusion chicken taco. People would be pretty surprised to know that I'm a doctor of nuclear medicine. My 10-year plan is to eventually open a restaurant. My dream would be to be able to be both a doctor and a chef. So I see Sean and Travis are both doing tacos. You know, the challenge there is that you have to take a simple, everyday, handheld snack and elevate it to an all-time high. Better be the best damn taco I ever had. 10 minutes! 
I feel I'm doing great. My time is right on. Making egg yolk gnocchi is tricky. It's not thickening, and I don't know why. I think it needs to cook longer, but I don't have much time left. I have to make sure the batter is thick enough in order to pipe in the hot water for it to hold. <laughs> the egg yolk gnocchi is a total loss. There's no time to redo this. Look at the mess in Veronica's pot. Stop it, stop it, stop it. The egg yolk gnocchi is a total loss. There's no time to redo this. Um, I'm panicking, but I can save this dish if I just focus on the other components. This is do or die for me. This is my last chance to get a white apron and get into the Master of Panda kitchen. It's down to the last minute. I'm most worried about getting finished on time. It's very tight. Maybe start plating. Maybe start putting your sauce on. <sighs> the man's just burned himself. There's no time to feel pain right now. Veronica just added a handful of flour to her pan there. She's trying to make up a chicken gravy. Well, I have the sauce, I have the succotash, I have the chicken. I should be fine. Uh... If Michelle pulls this off, I'm going to be very impressed. Ten seconds! It burns, it burns. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hands off! I know it tastes delicious. I'd eat it right now if I could, but I want these guys to taste it. I've perfected this recipe. I make it all the time. This dish will get me a white apron. I'm confident in that. Very happy. Everything's balanced. Everything's married together. I'm coming up there. Well, everyone, we're going to start tasting every single one of your dishes right now. And I'd like to start off with David. Would you please come on up here and bring your dish with you? This is a chicken thigh. I did some pan roasted potatoes with a uh, red pepper prawn heads and corn sauce. How are you feeling? Nervous. I'm being scrutinized by three of the best chefs in the country. Well, I think the presentation is, is a nice, tight little presentation, but the peppers just thrown there, it's a little different. Are you happy with the way your dish turned out? I'm happy with most of the components. I'm a little bit worried about the chicken. But I'm just concerned that it's cooked properly. What do you think? The best way to tell is to try it. Nothing wrong with a cook on that chicken. <laughs> the sauce, you say you add the shrimp heads to that? Yes. Rich, flavorful, very interesting. What inspired you to put shrimp and chicken together? It's probably not something that anyone else would do. I like uh, contrast. I like uh, a little bit of surprise in flavors. Is this the best you can do? This is me expressing myself. I'm proud of this dish. Please go back to your station. I want that white apron with my name on it more than anything right now. Sean, please bring up your dish. Creativity is a big part of cooking. I'm gonna try and bring a little creativity and a little flair of Sean. My dish is an Asian fusion chicken taco with an avocado sesame oil sauce. You know you've just made the most important taco of your life. Bon appetit. Hmm. See, I love Mexican food. I'm Latino. What I like about this is there's some really big, punchy flavors in there. That's a huge compliment. Thank you so much. Really good. The flavors are great. That sesame is definitely the base to this tackle. That sesame builds a little bit, then dies off. I even get a touch of heat in there. The only element that I would say I would miss in a tackle like this is a little bit of crunch. And that may have come from the corn. So putting it on the bottom of the plate, that may have been a misstep. Now that, with that crunch, makes a huge difference in my opinion. Food is not just about taste and the way it looks. It's also about textures, flavors. Please go back to your station. Travis, please bring up your dish. Dueling tacos, I know my flavors are there, and I know when they bite into it that they're going to like it. I'm 
I made two different types of tacos. I made a shrimp taco with uh, black bean and corn salsa and uh, chicken taco with pico de gallo. And how are you feeling about seeing uh, Sean's taco come up? We have two tacos to choose from. Tacos are my favorite food and it's uh, a staple in my household, so it's, uh, it's me on a plate. Hmm. The shrimp tastes pretty good, and a nice little mild heat to it that slowly, slowly grows. It is a little bit on the big and clunky side. It's uh, more of a tailgate party type taco. The salsa in the avocado, What's going on here? It's uh, pico de gallo. Any seasoning? No. Travis, is this really important to you? I've been cooking for half my life, and it's a passion of mine. I want nothing more than the opportunity to show you what I have. OK. Thank you. I really want to keep going. I do not want to go home. I haven't been here long enough yet. Michelle. Please come up here with your plate. My heart is racing. There's a lot at stake. There's many things that can go wrong with this dish. The apples may not be cooked. The pastry may not be cooked properly. It's a mini apple pie with salted caramel sauce. One concern that the three of us judges had was that it was not going to be cooked thoroughly. If you pull this off, you may have a winner. But if you don't, doors that way. A C. Look at that. Do you think that's cooked? Looks good to me. It also looks good to me, but taste is king. That's nice. Thank you, Chef. I like the crispness, the crust, the apple, the tartness, not too sweet. I do like it. I do like it. Thank you, Chef. Taste is wonderful. Pastry is crisp. A little of the cinnamon in there, the apples, just a touch of the sugar. Did you put a little lemon juice in there? Yes, I did, Chef. You did. That brightens the flavor of apple. And it's always something that I put in my apple pies. But the fact that you didn't get the sugar on the top to, to caramelize and give a nice, rich brown is definitely a negative in my eyes. Mm -hmm. Please go back to your station. I want that white apron. I want it like I want an A in school. All right, Elizabeth, please bring up your dish. The dish is fried chicken with roast potatoes and some vegetables. What part of the Maison Plus did you use? I used the corn, the sweet peppers, and I used the chicken. Chicken is well cooked, just perfect. The crust is nice and crunchy. The potatoes and the vegetables, it's a bit bland. Why don't you use all the Maison Plus you have already prepared? And you could have easily made a nice apple salad with the corn, peppers, and that would have provided a lot more flavor and balanced the whole dish. Please go back to your station. You. I have no idea what to think right now. I want this white apron. Vino. Come up here. You have a pan-seared chicken breast with a fire-roasted pepper sauce, a corn, cherry, tomato, and basil salad. Reno. Yes, Chef. How are you feeling? My life is riding on this dish. I really want to be up there. I really want to be part of this. Juices are flowing. That's very good chicken. Did you get lucky? Or is that skill? I can cook meat perfectly, chef. So we've established the chicken is nicely cooked. That sauce definitely has that big upfront garlic hit that I would associate with raw garlic. If you had roasted it, I think it would have been a lot more mild and mellow. A sauce like that, I think you could adjust with a touch of honey, possibly. A little bit of acidity, just to try and bring it back. It was a great idea, but the sauce, not the best element on the plate. Please go back to your station. Thank you, chefs. I want that apron. Losing is absolutely not an option here. 
Les, please bring up your dish. Pan fried chicken. Then I have the slaw with the apples and peppers, fried corn, and then a cranberry and maple sauce. I have to comment on the plating as a, a little unusual. Yes, that's definitely my weakness. It's a tough one for a lot of home cooks, and even for chefs. Having the corn stand up in such a way, it's uh, all about finding a way that food looks on the plate natural and honest and real. The chef. The cook on the chicken, nice golden brown all around. Taste on the chicken is very good. Simple, seasoned. The apple slaw shines as far as I'm concerned. Fresh, bright, crisp flavors. The other elements, I struggle with a little. You're a countryman. I am. I live with four generations, all on the same farm. Many Sundays we'll get together. This is what I'd serve my family. What are you most proud of in this dish? The slaw. The slaw. Really good. You know how rare second chances are, right? Don't want to go home. I love home. I want to do better. I want to bring you better the next time. Mm. All right, let's go back to your station, please. Last but not least, Veronica, please come up. The dish is a pan-seared chicken thigh with a roasted corn succotash. hash. It's very tasty. Thank you, Chef. But you know, I'm just not sure about the balance of this dish. I tried to do an egg yolk gnocchi, and they just never set. I just underestimated how little time I had. Well, have you ever done an egg yolk gnocchi before? Once, three years ago. Is this an example of overconfident to do something you've done three years ago in MasterChef Canada Kitchen with 30 minutes? I'll keep this in mind if I get to stay in this kitchen. It's, uh, small. This is very good. Thank you, Chef. Great flavors, really well seasoned. The gravy has that wonderful roasted chicken flavor. I would have much preferred to have seen this be a full entree to show that expertise. And I think what you need to do is sort of focus onto less projects on the stove and make certain elements just shine. Understood, Chef. Please go back to your station. Thank you, Chef. I'm getting very nervous. I talk a very big game. I thought that I came here to get an apron. Now I'm not that sure. We've tasted all your dishes, and now we need a few moments to discuss. This is going to be difficult, but we have to pick four to be in the top 14. I mean, I think there's a couple that we know without a doubt. Yeah, we'll have an apron. It wasn't perfect, but I just need to be better than four other home cooks. Any day of the week, I'll take 50-50 odds. Some dishes had amazing flavors and taste and, and well-seasoned. My heart's sinking. My blood pressure is through the roof. I want this so badly. It's honestly such a dream of mine. So many chickens in many different ways. It's a fight between the chickens. There's only four aprons left, and I need one. So we know the four that we're going to give aprons to? Yes. Let's do it. We gave you eight home cooks three chances to prove to us that you deserve a white apron. But as you know, there are only four spots left in the top 14. Deciding which of you home cooks deserve those spots was very hard, but ultimately, it has to come down to what's on the plate. Sean, Michelle, please come down to the front. Sean, you chose to serve us elevated comfort food. And Michelle, you decided to bake as a dessert in only 30 minutes. The three of us debated which of those approaches worked best and which one of you really deserves an apron. I'm beyond determined to get an apron. I'm just hope that the judges like my food and appreciate how badly I want this. 
I'm a little bit worried. I deserve an apron. I don't want that taken from me. The consensus that we finally reached is... Oh, my God. ...that you both do. Yeah! I earned this apron, I fought for this apron. That was amazing. Thank you. Feels good. Oh my gosh. Congratulations, that was really so great. The apron for me signifies approval from amazing chefs who know food. It's probably one of the best feelings in my life. Thank you, beautiful. David and Reno. I want to get on that balcony so bad. There's only two aprons left. I cooked great food, I plated it nicely, and I really want one of those aprons. David and Reno, the cook on both your chicken thighs was perfect. But in the end, it was beautiful plating and sophisticated flavors that gave one of you an edge. And the home cook that will move forward is... David. Congratulations, David. It feels amazing to finally see that apron with my name on it. Your family would be very proud, I'm guessing, David. I know they will be, yes. I have this apron now. I'm going to do everything I can to keep it for the rest of this competition. Reno, we're sorry. You've got a lot of talent. Thank you, Chef. And we sincerely hope that you'll continue pursuing those culinary dreams. Thank you. Good luck and goodbye. Thank you. Good luck, I let this opportunity get away from me, but it's not going to stop me. Veronica, Les, Elizabeth, and Travis, please come forward. One final apron left. There's no way they're gonna give us a fourth chance. I'm praying right now that my fried chicken gets me that white apron. There were delicious elements on all of your plates, but we know, and so do you, that you're capable of so much more. We decided to give the final spot in the top 14 to the home cook that we feel has the most skill and the most potential. And that home cook is... Veronica. Thank you. Can I shake your hand? You certainly can. Thank you. You just leaped into here by the skin of your teeth. Understood, chef. Congratulations, and head up to the gallery. I knew my name would look good on an apron, and I am glad to finally see it happen. Travis, Les, and Elizabeth, please don't forget how far you've come in this competition. And don't stop cooking. Good luck, and goodbye. I came here as a farmer, and I'm leaving here with hopes and dreams even bigger. I'm going home happy. I got to live out a dream. It's brought me this amazing opportunity to meet amazing people who love the same thing I do. All of you in the gallery, come on down here. Congratulations. This is Canada's biggest culinary competition, and you are Canada's top 14. <laughs> Make no mistake, you're going to face incredible highs and heartbreaking lows. But know this, you are all going to achieve things in here that you never thought were possible. But for now, go get some rest. You're going to need it. Next time. <laughs> The top 14 face their first mystery box. Let's go, let's go, I wanna do this. And cook with patriotic pride. Canada's awesome. I'm like a kid in a candy store right now. But a worldly elimination challenge. Whoa, a lot of pressure here, a lot of steak. <laughs> Leave some home cooks lost in translation. If you keep on doing this, the end will be near.